What's up, YouTube? This is Zumberts, um, X Zumberts, Jordan, whatever you want to call me. Um, today I'm going to be doing tutorial number two, and that would be um, Twixter in Sony Vegas, which is uh, fairly easy. I wouldn't say, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, first thing you're going to do is go to this link in the description and you're going to get this thingy right here and what you're going to do is um, you actually need WinRAR um, sorry I just ate McDonald's Oof. Um, if you have WinRAR already um, you know what to do just extract here if you don't have it just go to I don't know go to Google type in WinRAR it's a free download uh, it's really not that hard to do yeah, right here, winrar dot win dash rar dot com. Uh, and then you just English, whatever. Yeah, you get it. Sixty four bit for me, because. Anyways, I have the download link for this folder right here. Oh my gosh, for this folder right here. And what's in this folder is the Twixter Sony Vegas install, um, thingy. And then the patch. Um, so just go ahead and install it. Right click open. And then after you've done that, um, go ahead and open the patch. Uh, right click open or double click, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm not really sure if you have to run as administrator. I'm, I think that's what I did. I'd do it just to be safe. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, once you do that, um, go ahead and uh, restart your computer if you want uh, that's what I did I don't know if it helps but whatever if you do make sure to bookmark this video so that you can come back to it later um so next thing you're gonna wanna do is open up Sony Vegas obviously it's gonna take a while on my computer ah, that's good I love Big Macs Dun, 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 dun. Man, I should really be this. All right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and import a clip. And no, I'm not. I'm gonna go to Explorer, and I. Sorry, that probably messed up my voice. Hang on. Okay, clips right here. Um, and then just go ahead and cut the clip out that you want to be Twixter or like the whole clip. So I want to start about right here where this D goes out. And then don't cut the part that you want to twixter, cut like the whole clip. So just yeah, that's fine. And then delete the rest. And then um what you're gonna wanna do, hang on if I can get this over here. Yeah. What you're gonna wanna do it gosh dang it is uh go to properties and oh my freaking go. Oh, okay. What go to properties and disable resample. Sorry, I'm really unprepared um, and then after that go ahead and press U to split the audio from the video and then go down to the audio and go ahead and delete it and then go to your properties and if you have a PVR just make them what you usually make them um, except go to 59.94 just like that and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to render this clip out um, just to your desktop or wherever. Um, and you're going to want to make it 59.94 on the render settings also. And I already did that because I'm prepared, sort of, not really. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that in. Just pause the video if you're following along uh, while this, or while it renders. Um, but I have the clip right here. 
And this is already disabled. I'll just go ahead and do it again. All right, and then remove the audio. I don't know why it wasn't already removed. Anyways, um, looks good. You see, okay. So I want a Twixter on the second zoom in. Doesn't really matter where you Twixter, by the way. Yeah, this is it right here. So in the preview that I showed at the beginning of this, it, it looked pretty slow. And that is because, I will show you why in a second actually. One, sorry, did I say it looks slow? I mean, it went fast, it went by fast. That is because one, um, I only cut this part to Twixter, which is like, what, like, seven, starts at 7.06? It's like 12 frames, so, or six frames, sorry. Um, and that's obviously gonna, I'll explain it to you, one sec. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm tired, sort of. Anyways, go to video effects, and... You should, if it loaded right, have Twixter, Twixter Pro, and Twixter Vectors. Um, go ahead and put Twixter Pro and drag on the default. Um, I already have a preset. But uh, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and pause the video right now and copy this down. Um, there you go. Go ahead and pause it, copy it down, and then, yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing I have to explain. This is why it went by so fast in the preview that you saw at the beginning of this video is because I have the speed at 20. Um, I wouldn't recommend going below 5, um, but 20 is pretty good for me just because it, it looks smooth. I don't know. I really have no need to go any slower, but I wouldn't go below 5 because it just makes it crazy. Um, but yeah, so drag that on, it's dragged on, and then... What you're going to want to do is just drag the clip out like that until, so as you can see, it's going pretty slow. Whew. Until you see, where is it at? Where is it at? This right here. Do you see that? It like morphs into whatever. That's where you want to drag it to. Alright, so I have the clip. And that. And that. And yeah. That's pretty much all, guys. Just go ahead and render that out. Um, as you can see, it's slow. My computer's too slow to preview. Well, actually, any computer's too slow to preview that because it's a. It just is. I don't know. Don't ask. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, please like or favorite if, or sorry, like and favorite if you guys thought this was useful at all. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comment box below. And I'll play it for you guys one more time afterwards, just because. Um, all right, thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe if you thought this was useful. And yeah, thank you guys. See you later.